Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator with amazing content, Gardner. Th these intros are getting a little too self-congratulatory. <laughs> Alright, so today I wanted to talk about Linux in space! Because Linux is kind of a big deal in space. Uh, yeah, this is really cool. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but NASA actually landed a new rover on the surface of Mars. And uh, I couldn't be more excited. I love science. I love space. And uh, this new rover is uh, Perseverance is has landed on Mars. Uh, it's going to do all kinds of really awesome research. And uh, I'm very excited about it. But one of the things that made me, that just tickled me as a Linux user is the fact that Ingenuity, the, the uh, a helicopter that's on board of the Perseverance uh, is gonna be deployed and it's gonna be the first uh, powered uh, flight on another world. And what's really cool about it is that it's actually running Linux. This is running uh, like basically off the shelf hardware. It's a Snapdragon 801 processor with a stripped down version of Linux uh, that's running, uh, that's controlling this thing. It's gonna control the, the, the flight of the machine. Um, and holy crap, this is just so neat. It's nifty. It gets, it gets, my, uh, it gets my juices flowing, as, I, as they say. Now, the, the rover itself doesn't actually use Linux. It uses a proprietary operating system called VXWorks. Um, and that's what most other rovers have used. But um, because the, uh, the helicopter here has uh, off-the-shelf components and VXWorks isn't available for uh, these off-the-shelf processors and such. You know, they just decided to go with Linux. Tim Canham said, uh, there isn't a previous use of Linux that I'm aware of on other previous rovers. Uh, but then he also said, we wanted to pick a powerful compact processor for the helicopter and the best candidate was the Snapdragon 801 board that we found. But they didn't have VXWorks for the board. Uh, this is definitely a win for Linux, and I would agree. I mean, this is uh, this is super nifty, and it, it kind of got me wondering. Um, Linux runs this helicopter on another planet. That's really cool. But like, what other instances are there of Linux um, in space? And uh, there's actually some answers for that. Uh, first of all, it runs the International Space Station. Uh, the ISS is uh, switched over from Windows to uh, Linux many years ago, and uh, they did so because of reliability concerns. Uh, Windows is just not reliable and has become less and less reliable over the years. And so the fact that Linux is running the ISS, you know what, that makes a ton of sense. But I think another uh, equally interesting piece of news is that uh, the entire fleet of Starlink satellites by SpaceX are actually run by Linux. Uh, they're running on, or Linux is running on these machines. This was actually detailed by uh, some SpaceX engineers who uh, during an AMA revealed that, um, yeah, they're, it's running a stripped down version of Linux uh, that's meant for specifically for telemetry and, and this kind of networking. There are 32,000 of these Starlink satellites in orbit, which means that there are 32,000 Linux computers orbiting Earth. <laughs> and if you like have seen some of the Linus Tech Tips videos about Starlink, uh, you'll know that these are this is a high performance satellite network, uh, and it's actually capable of delivering like g a gigabit worth of uh, transfer speed. Uh, and that's pretty crazy insane to me, especially having lived out in the middle of nowhere where there was literally no option for broadband other than uh, high altitude or high orbit, uh, uh, terrible HughesNet. And uh, HughesNet was just the most garbage thing that I had ever used. And so I was really skeptical of Starlink, uh, but now I'm looking at this and I'm like, you know what, actually? I think that this uh, is pretty cool, and I'm gonna, I, I, you know, if if I ever like move out to the boon, like to the absolute boonies again, uh, I might be okay with Starlink, especially knowing that uh, these satellites are running Linux. <laughs> and a fun fact: uh, not only is the International Space Station, all of Starlink's fleet, and uh, the uh, Ingenuity uh, helicopter on Mars running Linux, but also Lcars is a desktop environment for Linux. 
that's a joke. I've always joked that uh, that that Starfleet runs Linux on all of its machines. I don't know. I just think that that's really interesting. The fact that uh, uh, the future of humanity is space and the future of humanity is also Linux. Uh, I think that that uh, is kind of poetic. It's kind of interesting to me. Uh, I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think about this, though. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, do you think that Linux uh, is, has a future when it comes to space exploration? Of course it does, but let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to take a moment and thank Matt Dancer, one of my top tier Singularity members, who's been a patron of mine for three years at the highest tier. Matt, my dude, thank you so much. If it wasn't for people like you donating to this show, I would not be able to do what I do. Uh, so thank you. If you like these videos, if you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show and maybe get your name listed in the credits over here uh, by heading over to Patreon and pledging your monthly support. It means the world to me and it, me and it means that I can continue to make these awesome, fun videos for you guys. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one and have a blessed day.